got even more from Rockfest, Wisconsin. I'm Lou Brutus. To my left, you are right. My brother from another mother, Lejean from Seven Dust. It is good to see you. It's How's your beautiful you. family? How's your wife? It's so funny. As I said, we were talking about this. As soon she and I are Instagram yeah. buddies. Oh, as soon as I said I'm coming over, Lou's going to come up to the bus. She's like, oh, my God. Tell him I said hello, and I love him. And the family says hello, too. So, yes. We see, the, the the wives and girlfriends like when I come out with the bands because I, I don't take them to strip clubs or do drugs. Right. We go to Civil War battlefields and art museums and yeah, stuff. too old to go to strip clubs. And Speaking stuff like of that. art, by the way, your pants. Can we get down on the pants here for a sec? Pants. These, these are the pants that Ivan Moody want. You got to tell me what's so, going right, on so today. So it's funny. So me and Ivan, you know, we're real good buddies and we text back and forth. But anyway, funny story. I didn't even call him or anything, but this morning he texts me. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm like, wow, so weird. Yesterday... I had a security guard pick me up, and the first thing I said to him is, you look like Ivan Moody. Holy crap. He said, no way, you're the fifth person. Here, to I gotta take the rest yeah. of the hair off. Okay, I'm here on Yeah, go. he's like, you're the fifth person to tell me that. There you go. He said, Lizzie Hale <laughs> from Hailstorm yeah. just told me that yesterday, right? So I text Ivan, and I sent him the picture, and I was like, I'm an ugly. Said, no wonder Lizzie won't take me out. Laugh out loud, funny shit. So it's a true story. He's like, brother, where'd you get those pants at? I love them. Fucking sweetness. So I had to send him a picture of the front and the back. And the texts keep going. Where'd you get them? So I'm going to get Ivan a pair of these pants. <laughs> well, I got I got one of the rings. Oh, I got one, one of the of Five Finger rings, Death Punch man. rings. We need to be on tour at Five Finger. That, the jeweler in Chicago made that That's special. Man. Yeah. Very oh, cool. and like when you one. see the inside. It's got my initials, LB, yeah. on the inside, every, and, and there's oh, wow. a diamond inside, too. Yeah. No, I think every time I see this ring, I ask you about it. Well, that's beautiful. Wow. It, you know, I, I, I get stopped in airports all the time. And People think it's like a Super Bowl ring mm -hmm. or something. It's really nice. It looks like one. So tell me about your summer so far. Summer's great, man. You know, we, uh, we did the run with uh, Memphis Mayfire for yeah. two, two months. It was great. We ended it in Kansas in my hometown on June 2nd, the Rock Fest, which, was, which was great. Uh, we've been off for a little while, and then we did these shows, 10, show, 10 days, 6 shows. The festivals have been great. We go home on Monday, and we stay home until September, and we hit the big, uh, the big, big tour with Clutch. That's an amazing band. That, that's another yeah. band, much like you guys, that not only do they have fans who are, are regular folks, uh, but uh, uh, and like Cheap Trick, uh, who's been around for years. We just played with them at Summerfest in Milwaukee. The oh, other night. I know. It was oh, great. I wanted to come in. Yeah, for that. I <laughs> that was wanted great. To come in for that show. What I was going to in for yeah. that. Um, but the, the Clutch Seven Dust, Cheap Trick. These are three bands that all musicians love. Oh, like wow, all wow. other musicians are fans of. That's why I'm looking forward to your set uh, at Rockfest, just because all of the other bands are going to be lined up on the oh, side whoop. of the stage if they can fit it got so much better if they can fit in that little place we're playing in tonight <laughs> it's going to be crazy it's gonna be in crazy, there it's right? be really nuts i look forward to it you know the, the fellas from disturbed are here man uh, zach wild i mean this is great what a great bill i saw zach coming just from the shadow of the hair of the i like, can't wait know, to see him like a, man. Like, a, like, a, like a like a beast werewolf uh, yeah it's coming. like a, a viking walking in you know it's like <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> Everywhere he goes, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Andromeda. Yeah. Well, so uh, you know, insight I, into the song. We, uh, we, we uh, actually, it's really cool. You know, we're with Rise Records, and uh, we went to L.A. and we did a, a video for uh, Dirty Andromeda and uh, Not Original. So I feel like you know that's the second song. At least that's what we're putting out to the people to hear right now in, in right. live essence. And uh, we're trying to figure out what we're going to actually put out for next single. So we're picking we're our own worst critics so we're asking for help with that right now but i'm excited because i feel like the album has a lot of deep tracks on it and how's the reaction all this stuff? it's been great man everybody seems excited and uh, we're excited about not only touring the states but also getting back overseas in the uk with uh, all the remains tell me about your travel I, I mean i was just in the uk for the first time in a few years uh tell me what you learned about traveling over there what are the types of things when you need to go what do you need to bring with you that you can't get over there that you can't live without uh, to, to well, do it probably work. in the time that we're going to be over there, sunshine. But <laughs> other than that, no, I think you know, I, I love it, man. I, for me, it's a different world. It's a new experience, and it's always fun, no matter if it's raining, if it's cold. You're in the UK. You're in a different place. You're uh, you're amongst people that are probably haven't seen you for sure. For us, we hadn't been over there in seven years, so it's a building relationship again. So it's always very interesting and uh, uh, contagiously exciting. How is it that you have not been there in this long? Because I, I would think that you guys are yeah, you know, are a regular we, yeah. on the on the at least the festival we, circuit. Uh, different people that have worked with us hadn't been able to get us over there the proper way. So we have all new. We have a new team. We're really excited about it. Now, yeah, we're going over there all of a sudden. And you're doing shows over there with all that remains yes, too, sir. right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I got when, to see Ali yesterday for a minute. It was great. Oh no, I kidding. love Ali. <laughs> 
I, I just wish I had hair like that. Oh, God. You know? <laughs> I would love watching Ollie when he walks. He just looks like he's about to play guitar at any Yeah, second. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a guitar's going to fly out of there, and he'll just be like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, tell me about your family and tell me about how the kids have gotten older, how they deal with you being apart from dad. Because oh, well, I know it rips anybody's heart out. I think it's particularly hard for, for you and your family. Yeah, it's been hard, you know, but, you know, seven us now, and we have people in our side that we don't tour like we used to. We, yeah. we, we, we tour for a month or two and we go home for two and three weeks, you know, and then go out and do it again. Family is very important, especially at this stage of our lives. Uh, I can't believe it. We, we took off that year and a half. And I was able to go to my daughter's daddy-daughter dances and not have to have my best buddy, Doc Brian, which I love, our family doctor, take her. You know what I mean? It was special for me to be able to be a part of those things. And it's just been so cool. Uh, so when we go back home, uh, my daughter will be going to nationals in Branson. We'll be able to do that as a family. Before, what, what, what is Well, she dances. She uh, oh, does wow. solo. Oh, and, I knew uh, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. this time, she didn't go with the team. She got she got invited to come by herself. So that's really big. And uh, we're proud of that. And then, you know, Kingston thinks he tells people he's 17 years old. He's two. So we're trying to hone that down right now. And, and what is it like when you get to go to these things? And I remember the daddy-daughter dance you showed mm -hmm. me pictures of. And the, oh, yeah. like heart-melting, oh, you know, yeah. beautiful um do the other parents know that you are uh a rock and oh, yeah. roll star some of the dads yeah some of the dads were cool you know we sit there and we talk about it and they ask me you know what's going on and what was that like and you know what are you guys doing and and then i think a lot of them still think it's like i'm in a band that might play in town and not really you know they probably don't can't wrap you their guys head should around cover deep purple yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. why don't you, you guys come over to our house and play tomorrow night <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm sorry can't it was sad this time uh I, we felt like it was dad's lonely row because the girls are getting ready to be in fifth grade and it was a bunch of us dads just kind of sitting there by ourselves and they were all dancing and having a good time and i remember my daughter she's so caring she came over and said daddy i still want to dance with you and it made me feel so good so i got up and i said okay i'll dance with you and you go play with your friends some more but yeah, it was a bunch of dads just sitting there i'm like why are we here but you want to you got a flax don't you let me yeah. <laughs> I saw you with a flask. Give me a swig. No. But it's great. You know, it's watching them grow up, man. It's beautiful. And my daughter still says to her mother, she's like, I don't want to go to fifth grade. So that gives me a good sign that she still wants to be a kid. And that's yeah. a good thing in my eyes right now. Yeah. So hopefully we're Stay doing a kid right if you can. It's rough yes, out here. Oh Seriously. my God. We fucked up. Stay look, a kid. Look at my pants. Yeah, Are you kidding me? Man. Are you kidding me? I'm Moody calling him to rip his pants <laughs> off his legs. For God's sake. <laughs> Uh, do you ever do you, do you ever get called in to do a career day or anything at school? Uh, well, let's see. I got to do what is it? A uh, big is something big something, and you go in and you help the school. So I, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to stay with my daughter the whole day in her classroom and help her. I was in her classroom for the ring of the bell, and then I went to the principal's office. And I love Mr. Marsh. He's great. We talk. He's a deadhead fan, fish, oh, and all no that kidding. stuff. Really cool guy. He's always at the concerts. We're talking about it. I'm in his office, and I'm like, oh, cool. What am I doing? And He's got the old, the board, you know, the old, the paper cutter. The paper cutter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you see that thing right there, that mural? I need you to cut the letters out. And he said that the, the size of them and everything, we're going to put that mural in the wall. And he's screwing around. And not screw. Yeah, yeah, and they have to be, right, yeah. yeah. He showed me, he said, <laughs> <laughs> and was measuring them. And I was like, oh, my God. And he leaves me. Oh, my, are you kidding me? So I stand in there for about five minutes, and one of the assistants comes in. And I'm like, really? I haven't done this stuff since I was. I didn't do it when I was in school. <laughs> well, I spent a lot of time in the principal's office. There, there you go. Letters. Yeah, so it was fun. I got to do all that, and I got to hang out in the cafeteria. I got to see you again in the cafeteria, and you know, so I get to do things like that. But I try to stay up on school. I that morning I was on their news channel, and we did the pledge of allegiance for the whole school. And oh, I was, nice. yeah, yeah. So, but I'm active in the school. I'm, I'm the first car when I'm ever, I'm home. I'm first car in there, you know, and. Hanging out, and this is really cool. I love being a part do, of that. Do you find it weird when you walk into a school like I, I try and support the local uh, high school theaters? Because mm -hmm. I, I started, as, I was a theater kid in mm -hmm. high school. Played a little baseball, but mostly I was about theater. Right. Uh, and whether it's my old school or if I walk into a school someplace, they ask me to come in and speak or something. Mm -hmm. I find it really weird. I get like flashbacks. You get that school smell oh and the hallway, God, and, it's, and it's just like, oh crap, I haven't left you. It's you just, it's the same thing. And my daughter, her middle school is connected to her, her her school, right? Her elementary school. So it's funny because I think that's why she's afraid. She's going to get her first locker, and sure enough, those double doors. It's a different world from that to that middle school as a whole the theater's there yeah you know everything is so it's, i'm excited for her. but she did take violin lessons in the big school so she's comfortable i don't blame her for being scared i've seen mean girls man you don't want oh yeah it's like well i'm not she's not worried about it because her brother kingston even though he's two he says he's 17 years old once they see him he's ready 
I think he's going to be a little – he's going to run both schools in kindergarten. <laughs> so, um, touring over in the U.K. Yes, yes. later in the year, uh, what are you thinking the next year? I don't know, man, getting back over to Australia, Austria, all those places again, and then, you know, coming back here and banging it out on this album and hopefully, you know, picking up – I would like to pick up, a, you know, another tour with some of our cats out there that we love to tour with so much. Do you ever get tired of having people walk up, including a lot of bands, going, oh, my God, you're my favorite, you're why I do this? Never. I think that would that, that's a pleasure to hear and um, would never be able to take that for granted. And I, I, I love for people to say that if we had anything to do to, with influencing you in music, it's a, what a pleasure, you know, because people still influence us, everyone out there. Jean, love speaking to you. Love you, man. All right, Look at man. this hat, y'all. Are you kidding me? Swag, baby. What? Old school. Yeah. Old you, school. You can't find them like that anymore. That's the cool stuff right there. I still keep Hunter S. Thompson's home kitchen hotline phone number on my phone. No way. Uh, you never know. Maybe we'll call. Old school we'll right see. there, baby. We keep it real. Seven Dust What's backstage up? at Rockfest, Wisconsin. Luke Brutus, baby. Oh. <laughs>